Stockton, California had a junction that featured three major western railroads, the Santa Fe, SP, and WP lines. The Santa Fe line runs west from here to Richmond, California in the Bay Area. This eastbound local pulled by a GE B23-7 and an EMD GP39-2 is crossing Southern Pacific's tracks. The next crossing for this train is over the former Western Pacific's main line as the local heads into Santa Fe's Mormon Yard. Both SP and the WP tracks run north to Sacramento, California. The Santa Fe never laid rails north to Sacramento, but many Santa Fe freight timetables marketed their connection up to Sacramento customers on the CCT, or Central California Traction Company, Short Line Railroad. The CCT was jointly owned in thirds between the SP, WP, and the Santa Fe. Returning back to the Stockton Junction, we reveal the track map for Santa Fe's crossing of the SP and the WP lines that run north and south. The traffic here was once controlled by this handsome tower. The tower has been destroyed in the modernization of operations here. The WP main line has also been removed since the Union Pacific bought the SP Railroad in the mid-1990s. This is still a fine location for watching trains, but now it's BNSF crossing the Union Pacific and the tower is just a stain on the earth here. When there was an SP, the trains here kept the tower operator busy. Pacific absorbed the Western Pacific in the 80s. The UP ran their trains between Sacramento and Stockton over this single track until the UP bought the SP. Once the UP had SP in its system, the WP line was removed as an unneeded duplicate line.
This westbound headed for the Bay Area has an interesting locomotive as its last unit, number 9555, a SF-30C. It was one of 70 GE U36C units that Santa Fe bought in the early 70s. Some of these earlier GE models had problems. To extend their lifespan, the Santa Fe re-engineered them into a class they designated as SF-30Cs. These units were eventually retired for good in the mid-1990s. The General Electric locomotives finally hit their stride as a dominant locomotive builder by the 1990s. The next Warbonnet unit, number 569, is one of those success stories. Number 569 on the point is an early 1990s built 4-axle GE-840BW locomotive making 3,800 horsepower. The next train is led by a similar unit that is rated at 4,000 horsepower. The second unit is an EMD offering designated as a G60B. This cabless booster unit is rated at 3,800 horsepower. Both units are capable of reliable high-speed freight operation, which fit in with the Santa Fe's reputation well. This train is still making maneuvers back into Mormon Yard in preparation for its westbound run to Richmond. Now we are underway for Richmond, California. During the early 1990s, the Southern Pacific was recovering from the failed SP Santa Fe merger and some other problems. SP was chronically short of power while their business was improving. Many sources of leased and loaned power were tapped by the SP back then. Santa Fe units were part of SP's recovery occasionally. This Santa Fe unit is leaving SP's Roseville yard to help make a run over the famous Donner Pass. Scenes like this recall the days of the SP Santa Fe merger that was denied by the ICC. Things eventually worked out for both roads, but it wasn't easy. This Santa Fe Warbonnet unit is about to experience some tough miles to loft this train over one of the country's most demanding train routes that was completed long ago in 1869. Santa Fe trains left SP's tracks in Bakersfield after their westward run over the Tehachapi line. This train is now back on home rails to make a short run to its own Bakersfield yard for a crew change to continue timetable west. Trains running timetable east from Bakersfield ran all the way to Mojave, California on SP's rails under a trackage rights agreement. The next crew change was in Santa Fe's Barstow, California yard. 
The next train will be an early morning eastbound with an SF-30C on the point. Then, another eastbound will be at Bealeville, followed by a westbound. The next two trains will be westbounds drifting down the grade at Woodford. The next five scenes will be on the famous loop, known worldwide as a historic landmark, as well as a place for Santa Fe and SP heavy rail action. entire story on our DVD available on our website at www.cspmovies.com. Be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.